Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today we will be discussing few of the urine viva questions. So question number one, name the types of urine sample collection. First morning voided sample. So this is uh, the sample collected as soon as the patient wakes up. Then there is random specimen. So it can be collected any time of the day. Third is postprandial specimen. So this is collected mainly two hours after a meal. Then fourth sample is 24 hours urine specimen. So in this case, uh, as soon as the patient wakes up in the morning, the first urine sample is discarded. After that, all the urine mm -hmm. samples of that day are collected. And next take of first sample is collected. So the question is, which urine sample is the most preferred and why? The first morning voided sample is the most preferred sample because it is the most concentrated and the casts and cells are well preserved in this sample. Can you name some changes that occur in standing urine at room temperature? So in standing urine, the pH increases, that is it becomes more alkaline. Ketone bodies are lost, the amount of glucose decreases and the bacterial proliferation will happen. In addition to the previous points, cellular elements will disintegrate and oxidation of bilirubin to biliverdin happens. So why do you think glucose reduces in standing urine? So the glucose will reduce due to glycolysis as well as glucose utilization by bacteria and cells. Can the standing urine test false negative for urobilinogen? Yes, the standing urine can test false negative for urobilinogen. But the question remains why? So the urobilinogen is oxidized to urobilin in standing urine. That is why it can test as false negative. Why does pH increase or urine become more alkaline on standing at room temperature? In standing urine, the urea, which is a constituent of urine, will be converted to ammonia by urease producing bacteria. Name a few preservatives that can be added to 24 hour urine. The preservatives which can be added are hydrochloric acid, toluene, thymol. Uh, formalin can also be added but that will be more for uh, preservation of the formed elements. How do you collect urine sample in infants? For collection, you have to place a clean plastic bag around infant's genitalia for some time. When we ask a patient to give a voided urine sample, we always ask that the patient should collect midstream urine. So why this midstream urine is collected? The first half of urine will contain bacteria from urethra and perineum. So this sample, this part of the sample should be avoided. Hence the midstream clean catch technique so that there is no false positive for urinary tract infection. That is all for today. This is Dr. Bismar signing out until we meet for the next video.